Right, Councillor Cook. Councillor Cook. Yes, present. Thank you. Good evening. Councillor Cox. Present, Vicky. Councillor Fawkes. Councillor Fawkes, present. Councillor Muspratt. I think Councillor Muspratt is being deputised by Councillor Jill Wood. Okay, Councillor Wood. Councillor Jill Wood, present. Councillor Norbury. And Councillor Norbury is being deputised by Councillor Cotier. Councillor Cotier, then. Yes, good evening, present. Good evening, Vicky. Councillor Irene Williams. Hi, Councillor Irene Williams, present. And Councillor Wright. Councillor Alison Wright, present. Thank you. I think that's everybody present, Chair. Thank you. So the next item is apologies for absence, but I think we've we've got that noted, haven't we? Um, so the next item is agenda item three, which is member declarations of interest. Can I ask if anyone has any declarations of interest? Uh, yes, Chair, I'll declare a uh, personal interest so I will stay in the debate and be able to vote. It does mention in passing on the digital uh, connectivity report, Mersey Travel and the uh, Liverpool City region, but I'm assured that I would have no part in decision making at that level. But just for clarity, I'll declare a personal interest. Thank you. <clears throat> no other declarations. Thank you. So we move on to agenda item four, which is to look at the minutes and agree the minutes. There are two amendments required. Um, one is a change of the wording to more accurately reflect the question asked, uh, which was the supplementary question six during the public questions um, during the committee meeting on December the 3rd. The, um, the actual wording um, was, since surface water drains along the promenade are increasingly submerged and no longer fit for purpose, will the council consider alternative and more affordable solutions to discharging surface water from the road, for example, via permeable paving um, sections and or surface embedded drain channels across the promenade, further avoiding a need for heavy equipment on the beach to clear blocked outlets? Then also there is an amendment to the Hoylake Beach amendment. Um, it's simply the inclusion of an and sign. So there's just a, a simple ampersand uh, to be inserted. And that would take um, the, the, the actual amendment would then read one. Note the progress in developing a specification for an ecological and geomorphological survey and subject to a suitable budget being identified and in consultation with the Environment, Climate, Emergency and Transport Committee to agree to the procurement of independent studies as a scientific evidence base upon which to develop future management options for Hoylake Beach. So it's simply the insertion of an and sign um, just for clarity of meaning. So I'm hoping that we can agree to those by assent because there's no, I think, radical, there's no change of meaning or anything. It's just clarification and grammar. Is Can I take that, that we agree those Corrections, Councillor Cook. Uh, yes, uh, Chair. Is it just one point again? I suppose it's a language thing. It's there's a reference isn't it, on page eight or ten of the hundred and twelve pages. Um, I think it's in the minutes section. Um, it refers to deletion of allotments. Um, I think what's meant is deletion of any reference to there being a further working group meeting yeah. to discuss allotments. And it, it's just so for people who on the outside who you know. Uh, don't appreciate uh, that, that that um it, it just might look as though you know allotments were being totally disregarded from now on and that there was no work in progress or i'm sure nobody would think that all allotments were being uh, removed <laughs> wiped out but you know it, it, it i think perhaps i've just I've just comment generally that um it's important that these reports um are explicit and not too elliptical yeah. yes i i agree so um Vicky, is that enough that we've publicly clarified that, or does, do we need to take that further? We can we can amend the minutes in accordance with what has been uh, discussed just now, and those other amendments, if the committee is content with that. Okay, so that would take us to three very minor amendments, just for clarity of meaning. Um, can we all agree that by assent? I'll take that as a yes. Vicky, is that okay? Yes, that's fine, Chair. 
Brilliant, thank you. So that takes us on to um, agenda item five, which is public and member questions. And if people don't mind, um, I'm just going to slightly rejig the order because I'm aware that one of our uh, questioners has got a meeting that um, she needs to attend. So I'm going to ask if um, Gillian Homery can go first and ask her question. It's a brief question. So Gillian. 